This video is on the Panzer IV 70A in War Thunder, featuring the biggest chin on a tank anyone has ever seen. Hope you guys enjoy this intro. I have no idea what that was. 190mm a pen, by the way. That was just a bad shot there. Hit me. Thank you. Something's to my right. Volumetric shells plus Russian optics equals bounce. God, look at all that artillery dust. Can't see a bloody thing anymore. Why do you hate artillery odd buzz? Oh, there you go. Reason number 5,720. Why is there there's so many on there too I could have shot at? But I can't see them. Okay, all these trees are gone now. Thanks to that big old bomb. Keep an eye on this side. You just took a shot. Multiple, actually. More dust. Okay, more volumetric shell. And again, a yellow... Oh, yeah, yeah orange that, actually. Wait, where is this guy shooting me from? You? Okay, he's in trouble. Okay, here we go again. This is absolute gold. I need to just stop repairing. Okay, there we go. Undamaged? That one was definitely a bounce though. There we go. A nice cast hull to go through. This guy can kill me easy. I don't know why he's not firing at me. Probably gun depression issues. Oh my god, did you see that? Or if it's an Achilles, even worse. Very strange hit there. You had no idea. Thank God. I don't know what that KV-1 is up to. Ow, there we go. Found him. We might survive. Nope. There's the KV-1 S that we get so many weird bounces on. Dude, I can't believe that didn't go through. Wait, he went through my track armor and that angled plate? Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a look at this guy. This is the Panzer IV 70A. And quickly, before I tell you this thing has the same gun as the Panther, except at 4.3, I'd like to ask you to subscribe for some daily content. We are 150 subs away from 50,000. And to give you an idea why I'm so excited about this, I started YouTube in April of this year, and one of my goals was to hit 10,000 subs before Christmas. And look at us now. So thank you to everyone who's come along and subscribed, likes and leaves comments, watches my videos obviously. I think I can now at this moment in time pleasantly say that YouTube is my full time job. And of course that wouldn't be the case without every single one of you. So before we get into this video with a massive lump in my throat and a tear in my eye, I'm just going to quickly switch back to the vehicle. Now instead of calling this thing the Panzer 470A, I'm just going to refer to it as the Chin. And yes, it does have a very powerful cannon on it, the PAG-42, which is very similar to the one that's housed inside the Panther. It has one very glaringly obvious weak spot compared to the Tech Tree counterpart. This big old upper front plate here has a massive flat spot on it at 80mm, meaning that even most guns, down to reserve tier, can penetrate this thing frontally. You can't really effectively angle this thing either, we've got a 40mm plate here and a 31 down below. But as with all German tanks, if you play it right, you're nigh on invincible. Other negative traits about this vehicle is its very poor gun depression at 5 degrees. It's obviously a case made tank destroyer, and although it has a decent horsepower per tonnage, is still pretty slow. However, this thing's gun far outweigh its cons, because look at this. This is the Panzergrenaden 3942 with 192mm of penetration on an APHE shell. Now in the intro you saw me bounce quite a few tanks and that was just put in there honestly for comedic value, but this thing's gun is absolutely disgusting at 4.3. Bear in mind you'll be facing 3.3 vehicles quite a lot of the time, and as well, all the way up to 5.3, even the jumbo is no problem at all for this thing. And really, unless it's a mixed battle, that's the only thing you need to worry about, unless it's a KV-1S. So why in God's green earth is this thing at 4.3? Well, I suspect it's because it's a premium and it has some very bad statistics. I assume that most players buy this and drive it about like an absolute lunatic, thinking that it's invincible from the front, 
but it definitely is not. But in the right hands, in the right map, this thing is absolutely detrimental to the enemy's advancement on the map. And as long as you hide this plate here behind a bit of cover, or you use some pay to win, I mean bushes, it's a very, very effective tank destroyer. Now I'll be of course bringing in a full complement of aircraft with the 109G2 and the duck just for a good laugh. Alright, let's head into battle. Okie dokie, we're stuck on advance to the ring. Now, I don't normally go this way, but I reckon a decent long range we can take the 10 line which is the east side of this map honestly it's just a gigantic street where we can't be flanked unless someone comes up behind us which is unlikely to happen this is a battle game as well so we're gonna have to try and survive for as long as we can the issue i'm gonna have is most people aim center mass <laughs> so yeah we're very likely to be pinned from the front it looks like we're against russia as well which means a lot of the KV-1's armour is going to be a pita to pen at long range just because of so many overlaps. And that's P-I-T-A for anyone who thought I said Peter. Why you do this? I can already hear an R3 bully in something right down the end of the street too. Now, I kind of want to bury my nose into some dirt. Oh, there he goes. M4A2. Kinda worried about an M4A2. Kinda not. Anything we see first is gonna have a really bad time. There's an FL10 on the other team, which is definitely concerning. This is what happens when you get in 4 7 games, though. Oh, here we go. It's all about to happen now. An M10, though. There's a T34 457 back there as well. Hello M4. Got his driver. Oh, he pulled back a little bit, so... I'm actually going to take this guy out. I don't think he can shoot me back, but it doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's free real estate, as the kids say. Hello 57. There goes a T-34's driver's hatch. As always. I can't really see this guy, but we'll fire anyway. That time he went through. Oh no. Angle. Didn't fire at us, thankfully. He... I don't know, actually. Oh, there he is. Cannon barrel, I'll take it. Yeah, he's going back now. This is kind of like the perfect spot for us. That was not very clever, Mr. T-34E. This is really the spot you want to be in with this sort of vehicle. No one's really fired at us, funny enough. They probably seen that my Panzer 470. There goes our bravest warrior in his KV-1C. I know this is really bad crack, but I kind of want to see him dead. Uh oh. There's a T-34 we shot the barrel out on. This Alina guy just killed somebody. Oh, well, you're staring at me down the road again. That is not the shot I wanted. He's getting... Oh god, that bomb. I can't see anything for dust, so I just kind of fired in that rough direction. I got my wish though, the KV-1C is dead. Loaded. Got his breach. Now that's our 10th round we've just fired. There's a Sherman Firefly on our B cap now. So if anyone pushes around behind me, I'm definitely going to die. We're not going to have the time to deal with that. I'm going to pretend that I'm not here for the minute. Although that might be quite hard to do. M41's dead. I'm waiting on that Firefly getting deleted, hopefully. Oh, BT-7, that's not good. He's gonna come screaming around that corner at some point. Now, we can flank. I just can't push the street just yet. Hopefully this artillery doesn't hit me. That way I won't be marred here. 
We got lucky, actually. No red circle around my screen, which means that it didn't do me any damage. Which means that we were not marked on the map. I want these two guys to get cocky, though. Exactly like that. Okay, bounce one. What is this here? A yag? Yes. Oh, there we go. Firefly. Firefly fire flank. Firefly flank. That's hard for me to say. Absolutely bonked. Looks like an enemy fighter still up. It could be that F6F. If it's a Spitfire, I'm just going to say I'm probably going to die. Here he comes though. He's slow. It's a cannon stang. God, my aim is terrible with this thing. He's gone though. That, hey, that prop noise was actually not too bad there. For a second. Right, I'm going to wait until these guys start bunching up on the B cap. That way I can maximize the damage my bomb does. Although I am pretty fearsome of the mighty M16. Oh, here we go. Bombs out. Feed off. Ah, uh, I only got the one. That Yag-10 is going to be vulnerable. He's dead. One on it. Okay. Uh, another one on it. God, my voice today. I don't know how to words anymore. That was pretty close. There's the M16s now. M16s and BTRs are what I'm most scared of. Actually, a fair and balanced SPAA. He's looking right at me. Oh god, yeah, and I missed his gunner. I'm just gonna keep flying directly above him. Hopefully this other 109 has spotted him. Nope. No, he hasn't. Try and sweep around him. He's shooting the other guy right now. Now's my opportunity to miss him with every single shot. Yeah, okay, not good. I've retracted my flaps, you're confusing me. It looks like we're about to lose all. Just on the cap itself. There we go. Well, good game. <laughs> Look at this. We got a chance to redeem ourselves on the same map. Oh my god. This guy just teleported right in front of me. Want to go to the same spot? I think we're facing pretty much the same guys we were before. Ooh. Uh, Swedes and French again as well. This is a yikes. Battle rating wise, it's looking like it's in our favour. This definitely looks like a 4.3 game. Although, we'll see if FL10 start popping up. We'll definitely know we're in trouble. I don't really see anything here obvious. But it's higher. Not give you one sees anyway. Now, I did see that T-34. Peeking through some tank traps. This seems like a nice spot. Need to be careful of M10s and Achilles though. Well, we won't have Achilles, there's no Brits. Aha, like this. Now we should be able to see over the top of some of these. And have our hull covered. Someone's gonna fire at us right now. Or maybe not, he's not. Oh, he's tried. I would rather not drive up these. That man is very dead. We got that. BT-5. Was that a BT-5 rushing us? I think it was. This is a good little spot. Pivkov, I think, is shooting at us at the end of the street. T-34, 57. And there's something else here as well. That I can't identify. 
We'll just keep firing, though. That guy would append us. That's APDS. And I think another one here? Yep. Oh my god, this is a massacre. Yeah, locking down a lane like this is absolutely ideal for us. This is not a good idea for the enemy to be peeking over here again. Now, our team might have an opportunity to push now. It depends. Did you're in my way, OMG. Excuse me, dude. He's just overtaking this, Doug. It would not be ideal for me to be the one to push up here first. We're on four kills, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kill with every single shot. Imagine a Panther's gun. Look at this guy shooting over the top of me. That's super cool. Right, the three stooges are on their way up. Don't die, boys. I believe in you. Yeah, that's, that's a joke. I really don't have any faith in any of them. I'm only kidding. <laughs> the team is doing a great job now. OMG and his boy Zeke are going nuts. P40 is locking down this area. Now I think we are going to push up a little bit further up beyond with this P40. Hopefully they won't get shot. We'll just keep carrying our speed. Enemy aircraft coming in. I can't wait till we can tow dead vehicles around. Yeah, the enemy has got to our cap. Heavy tank down this street. We can probably get shot on the right hand side, but this heavy tank we can probably give a hand with. Nope, just kidding. OMG and Zeke's got them all. Pretty much. Skywalker's dead now near B. Which is not too ideal at all. That sounds like is this 12 or 2? Something down that street? I can shoot over this stug shoulder. Beautiful ZK. Okay, P40 is fighting some heavy tank. And bad grandpa is moving up as well. Now, if I want to win the game, I'll just turn right down the street. Tank destroyer here. They've just dropped artillery on them as well. M10 is coming. Oh, that's a... Uh, is this dirty? Which can kill me easy peasy. Damn, he killed Zeke. I tried, dude. I was too late, I'm sorry. We've just killed our Churchill. In the centre of the map too. Let's actually peek around this corner here. I want to see what's going on. Oh. That's our M10 dead, French boy. The sun is really impairing my vision. <laughs> I'm just going to back up. Actually. Right, we gotta stay in this for the long haul. Battle battles can last a long time sometimes. I missed him and now I deserve to die. That is a big bomb. 500 kilo. <laughs> it is my... I should have aimed a little bit higher. I thought he was closer than he was. Okay, it's G2 drop time. I'm going to have to be very clever about taking out this Tizma. He's already killed two of my friends. There's another plane down there. Which I'm sure is going away from me. Yeah, he's turning back round. I'm going to keep my speed.
enemies back on B. That Tisma is maybe going back for some more bombs. I've lost the other guy though, no, there he's there. I got him. No Spitfires, thankfully. Just gonna try and keep my energy as much as I can. Nope, Tisma's coming back around by the looks of it. No, he's... What is he doing, actually? No, he's on his way out. Sticker's getting bullied. I want to figure out what this is. I think it's a yak. Although I'm probably very mistaken. Wingtip's gone. I run out of mouse mat space. But he's missing a wingtip, so that's okay. Hoof curve down here, and oh god, we might be getting bullied from this. It's 12 in a second. Oh my god. Okay, we'll get rid of him. I just got hit by a 25mm, and I'm still alive somehow. Oh my god, leave me alone, dude. There's actually quite a few of them down there. Did that? That KV one's pulling up behind our Panzer 4G. Now, I'm probably going to die because I'm quite severely damaged, so the least I can do is help this poor Stug G getting flanked. Hopefully that helps you, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got him. Okay. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. Right, Dennis just took out a P63 we crit earlier. I think the Tismaz probably landed by now. This is some other thing coming in. If it's a Swedish plane, I'm scared. The duck is not known for its turn fight ability. And it definitely looks like it's a Swedish plane. Yes, it is. J21. Okay. Well, it's time to dig out as many tanks as we can. I think I've got a backup Panzer IV. So... Too high. Just right. We're being bullied by an M16 and we're on fire. Already. Let's see if we can cut our engine. I don't think we're going to be able to put this out. That anti is probably going to get us again. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, is this 12 guys? M16 says on fire though. <laughs> that is not ideal. So I have this sort of personal rule where I'll play maximum three good games in a vehicle. And by good games, I mean I will actually try. The rest of them I play are generally for screenshots and introductions. And roughly I get around five kills per game in this thing. And really, it's a mystery as to why. Now in all honesty, if you're a decent player, this is really a good tank to buy. And one of the main reasons is it gives you access to the Panther's gun at 4.3. And this tank honestly is still viable to 5.0 until you get access to this guy at 5.3. Pretty much everything you look at in an up tier or a down tier is going to die with one hit. And that's the sort of firepower and survivability that you need in order to do well at 5.3 whenever you're up tiered from 4.3. It won't suit every single map and it won't suit every single player style, but it's definitely a good tank in the right hands. A massive thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. You guys are really helping me with this brand new build. I'm going to end up with a lot of building to do probably in the next week now for the new PC. It's taken so long. Stock of AMD CPUs have been really low in the UK. It's been very difficult to get my hands on one. And a special thanks to the tier 3 people over there. Big Bearded Moose, Gross Admiral, J Tormy, Justin Dallin, Kane the Salt Lord, Rage, Sailcat, Surfer, Firepaper, Viking God, Warpig, Zema, Yogbo, Sexy, and the new one, Thumpin' Bunny. It's absolutely ridiculous how many people are over there supporting me. I have actually had to reduce the scale of my UI and my browser just to read them off. And thank you to everyone who likes and comments on my videos, of course. I really meant what I said at the start of this video. I really appreciate every single one of you. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye